designated as the Okay, we should have done it at. Okay, so there it is. So is there, and the painted, um, how many is this one? This is our first one out this trip. Yeah, there's 417 total. Okay, we've got a long way to go. <laughs> we are currently at USA RV Park in Gallup, New Mexico. We have a 50 amp hookup, water, sewer, and the site itself is level. It's wonderful. And there is no trash or debris hanging around. So the owners and the proprietors of this place is doing a good job. Would we stay here again? The answer is definitely yes. Last night we got here and they had a barbecue. So we ordered the pork, pulled pork, delicious, and some sort of bread dessert thing. That was really good too. Oh, and look at this. It's actually long enough where Aries can fit in the front. Wanda's in the back and there's still a little bit of room. So it's a good, good size, good length too. And it's level. Can't talk about can't talk enough about the leveling part. So here's their public area and they don't allow pets here, which is lovely. There's no dogs coming up to you and licking you, licking your leg. I don't quite understand what this green space is, but children's stuff. And this is where their barbecue area is. Really good barbecue. And this is their memorial to the veterans. It's lovely. And we love the pool. It's clean as I expected because we are in New Mexico. And the power hungry Democrat governor is requiring everyone again to wear masks. And they're shutting down bars and restaurants again. These Democrat governors don't realize the financial impact. It's like, yes, a couple of people will be dying. Big deal. It's not like the human race is going to go extinct. There still hasn't been as many deaths from COVID as there was in 2018 from influenza, the common cold. I don't know why they're overreacting. It's a lovely park. This is where you check in. And again, they have a general store. Really nice inside. Oh look, they have little cabins. RV park cabins is nothing more than a glorified tool shed. They put a bed in there and they call it a cabin. And they get away with it. And that's for every RV park. This is just to notify you that I will be changing the format for this year regarding RV park impressions. A lot less bathrooms from one of my viewers and more just what we do and what we're eating. <laughs> Mostly what we're eating. Maybe not so much what we're eating. A lot of states have decided to reclose their restaurants and public venues, which I don't understand why. COVID-19 is nothing more than this year's cold and flu. Right now they're not reporting all the suicides, all the cancer deaths, all the heart attacks. It's absolutely ridiculous how no one is dying of anything else. All right, here we are at the Santa Rosa RV park or campsite. Not happy with this place. I originally reserved a 50 amp site and they gave it away to someone here next to us because their pedestal, see, it's broken. Only has one 50 amp plug. So I had to do the 30 and 20. Not happy with the fact that, see, not happy with the fact that I originally reserved a site 
that was 50 amp and they did not give it to me so would I ever stay here again at the Santa Rosa campground campsite RV park the answer would be a no and I don't recommend you do so either they don't have a they do have a website but you can't make reservations on it stupid it's 2020 why can't you make reservations on a website absolutely ridiculous you just call them they'll say yep we got you it means nothing nothing at all 